So there's a boss here, apparently. Interrupting my conversations about middleware. When his green button is visible. But anyways, that's what I was saying. Um, wondering about why lots of games don't loop their music properly. I wonder if it's difficult to implement, I'm not sure. Um, that is one of the things that some middleware will do for you, like the ADX audio format those used. For some games on the Xbox, for instance. That can just already future links too. Uh, that had... That was an audio library you could... Or more like an audio streaming library, so like for music and whatnot, that you could... Well, what was the point of all that platform there? If you're just gonna destroy it before you get the control. Yeah, I tried. I don't have a bomb. Oh, come on, man, no fair. I'm leaving. Does it not hit me here from here, actually? Ah, I can't hit that fire that far, though. Come on. Can I hit me back here or not? Oh, never mind, I can. Anyways, ADX was an audio streaming library middleware that you could just license uh, to handle all that streaming of audio for you, so you don't have to figure it out yourself. That keeps... Catch me off guard. I'm gonna turn this back around so fast. Especially while I'm trying to talk about things. So, but I know ADX had um, looping built in. How do you work when you're angry? I see those pucks on the side, by the way, but if I don't have to be that close to hit them anyways, it probably doesn't really matter. But those only pucks might extend my range to make this slightly easier, but I'd have to jump to them, which would make life a bit harder. Some nice intense music for just occasionally jumping over a laser. Oh, come on. Wait. Jump over with you long enough, man. Thank you. And speaking of not moving. I can actually go to the bucks from here. I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, jeez, I think they slow down once they get to the center. Because otherwise I expect uh, to be able to jump soon. One of the reasons I'm staying this far back is because... Um, the laser sweeps faster the further away I am, right? Which makes it easier to jump over in lots of cases. Because it will pass by me faster. Maybe one of the reasons that middleware exists for that sort of thing is that it wasn't actually easy to implement yourself. I don't know. I'll take those pucks now. Music is way too intense for what it's actually used for, unfortunately. Oh, well, never mind. Like, this is really cool, it's just like, for what turned out to be a really simplistic boss fight. Come on! I jumped just slightly too late there and he just dropped right off the edge. This game doesn't seem to have much of any coyote time, unfortunately. Yeah, like, 
for a more tense situation, this would be awesome. Jump at the very end there. And what I think about it and how you implement like buffering audio for streaming audio. Like I suddenly we have a puck story about. I don't down here. Weird. No. But um well I think about that. Yeah, there's definitely a loading zone there. That's interesting. Um, it doesn't sound difficult to me. To, uh, I, if you if you can make your song, if you can make the whole audio file loop, this is a nice view once you enter this area. I like this. You just get a nice overview of the whole thing. Yeah, wh why is the level design suddenly like really nice? Whoa, hello, out there. Oh. All right, how, what you press to? Uh, there we go. I can't remember what you have to press to uh, switch targets. Something I just really like the level design in this game, though. Mainly the visuals. This game does have upsides. I, I, it feels a little lackluster in a lot of ways to me, but there are things I like about this, honestly. Which I was not expecting. That's why I play these kinds of games, though. Like, if you just come in with low serings to begin with, so you're not disappointed if it's just eh, which it is most of the time. And the few things you find that are actually good just catch you off guard. And there are things that nobody else ever notices except for the few people that grew up with the things because no one else gives it a chance because they know it's probably not going to be very good. I still don't know what the plan is of these bouncy bucks though. Although these guys may even as well as spawn is annoying. And there are silly things like um, how grinding is ridiculously overpowered in this game for getting points. Hello, you're a steam vent or something. Stop that. Where did you come from? Where did you spawn from? Yeah, I feel like the way these sorts of audio streaming things work makes me think, I mean, if, you, if you get to the end of the song and then you just have to oh, hello, start streaming from the video from the beginning of the track again, uh, that doesn't seem too different to me from getting to the end of the song and then just jumping to some place other than the very beginning of the song again afterwards. Just jumping to some loop point instead, so I can imagine it's a matter of being too difficult to implement. Does this hurt me or not? I can't tell. No, okay. Oh boy, but the fall might hurt me. Okay, so I don't know if I can get on top of there from here. We can try though. There we go. I see reasons to experiment a little bit more with exploring this place, though, so... This one guy, I just cannot handle him. There we go. having a hard time being my friend today. Alright, so what are we even trying to do? I got I found a way up to the middle. Okay, here's another way to go. I can climb down here? Oh this, this is where I came from. Is this where I came from? It is, okay. So I found a way back up here. 
Did that reload everything? I feel like it might have. That might have respawned everything. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So I found a way back up here. It's amusing. Back here. Sweet, sweet I think that's everything you see down here, though. Cannot see anything! Oh, no, I could have been wrong. Lab everywhere. I have a bean over here, apparently. Okay. Now then. That is over here. Okay. Back on track. Stopping invincible when you spawn. It's quite annoying. There's another one. I don't think the game has any special programming. Hey, look. For fall damage here. Maybe not. I just feel like you usually get fall damage really easily, but... I don't get any, for instance, if I take this really big jump off of the vent. You have to wait for the vent to push you up for a while, which... throws me off. No, that's not enough. Ow. No, you do actually have to be careful about falling. I think it's your speed when you hit the ground though that makes you take damage. That's unusually realistic because that would be. Usually games just keep track of how how you started when you started falling, and then how far below that you are when you land. And they figure out how much damage you should, you should take based on that distance, not off of your actual speed when you hit the ground. In part because usually you don't keep accelerating as you fall. I'm ow. That would be difficult to not take fall damage from my feel like. So. Well, there's my way in. I'll just have to give it a push. Twice it keep making noises after I pushed it. Alright, next time.